You're watching the book reviewer with Cindy Brady, where we make hard covers soft. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the book reviewer with your host Cindy. And I have another book review to share with you guys. So earlier, you saw a video about the book that I. I was hesitant about doing a review on, um, you will see that earlier today, um, you, you probably would have seen it already. Um, so I wanted to do another book review because I do two reviews a week and possibly more to come if I can get used to the schedule of doing it twice a week, um, uh, and on the days that I'm supposed to record and upload, that would be awesome. Um, so I am here to give you another book review. So this is a book that I have had on my shelf growing up. Um, it is a golden book. It is called Ernie Gets Lost and it is by Lisa Alexander and of course they had to give um, credit to the illustrator who illustrated the pictures in the book. Um, so this is a book that is good for kids probably about 3 to about age 10 or so. Um, this is a book that Ernie goes with his friend Maria into a department store. And Ernie, who's always lived on Sesame Street, he decides to go with Maria shopping to get a... Um, present for his friend Bert. If you'll remember from Sesame Street, there's Ernie and Bert. They're brothers. Um, and unfortunately, Ernie gets lost. And there's kind of a lesson here for kids. Um, it does outline what they need to do in case they do get lost and they get separated from their parents or anybody that they are with. Um, so, there is value in books like this one. Um, I've read it with my son. I've read it. I probably could read it with my nieces also. Um, but this is a good book to have. I mean, even very young kids will like it because it is Ernie and it is uh, Sesame Street and they're friends. And, yeah. It's about uh, 12 or 13 pages. I'm not really sure um, how the pages are counted, whether it's front and back as one page or if it's front one page and back another. Um, I know a lot of books have the pages numbered, but some of these short books like this one don't. Um, so I'm not sure. I did look on Amazon. Um, they do have a hardcover and a paperback. Um, but unfortunately, no Kindle edition, you guys. Um, you would have to talk to, I think it is the publisher, or get a hold of the publisher. I think it's Golden Books, and tell them you would want this book in a Kindle format for that to happen. I'm not really sure what the procedure is. I know Amazon used to have something like a button you could click on that says, I want this in Kindle format. But I'm not sure what they replaced it with or if that was kind of a lost cause because maybe there wasn't much business or demand or something. But um, So this book is pretty good. Um, I'd encourage you to... Uh, well, I'll put a uh, Amazon link to the hardcover book um, in the video description below if you guys want to uh, find it and read it to your kids. Um, so for those that have grown up with Sesame Street, did you like this book? Did you hate it? Did you, or do you want to check it out for yourself or maybe your kids? Um, this book can probably be found at a library. Um, I'm not sure what it would be under, if it would, it would probably be under the easy books, or 
I don't know. Anyway, um, I just wanted to do a, another short book review. Thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Keep reading. Don't stop believing. And we will see you again next week. Bye!